and another disturbing uh, development this evening. In Gaza City's northern area of Jabalia, paramedics report finding bodies that have apparently been run over by Israeli army tanks. During a lull in the fighting, Palestinian medics brought the dead and wounded to hospital. In one particularly gruesome incident, the remains of a charred baby were recovered. We found bodies that the tanks drove over. The medics checked the bodies and found damage at the cellular level and bodies. The baby girl, aged five months, she was dead for more than two days. Well, earlier I spoke to Katrina Riz, Ritz of the International Red Cross. She's head of mission here in Jerusalem. I asked her if she believed Israel no longer respects the neutrality of the International Red Cross. Let's say they don't trust the neutrality of the humanitarian world and they believe, they say, okay, we know we trust you, but um, okay, there could be somebody in your car which um, you can't really tell us that somebody's dead. Now, when your team entered that area in Zaitun, what did they find? Um, the first, what they found is um, roadblocks and earth, I mean, mud walls covering, I mean, blocking the road. So we could not bring in the ambulances. The team had to walk for 1.5 kilometer or one kilometer. And, um, and then they started to see um, some dead bodies of women um, in front of doors. They went in the first house, they found um, dead bodies, they went into a second house, they found survivors. So this went on, and um, they found in one house a woman, a mother dead on the floor and two children next to her, completely weakened because um, they hadn't had any food and water. They couldn't hardly stand on their own leg. And um, we, the team went through 10 houses and found um, like at least 18 wounded. They evacuated 12 weak civilians, but not wounded, and um, four children. But effectively, you're finding, your teams in Gaza City are finding starving children sitting next to their dead mothers. That's the, that's the situation they have, or that was the situation which was presented um, yesterday, last night, and I think this was really shocking to see this. What did the Israeli army do? Did they intervene in any way? Did they hinder your teams? So what happened is because uh, they tried to ask to, to remove the roadblocks, so there was no um, reaction to this. Um, the they Israeli roadblocks? Exactly. I mean, the road, the earth mound from the Israeli to open the road so the ambulances can arrive. So this was not done. And what they went is to get a donkey cart. So they brought the donkey cart and then we stay, stay evacuated the people as much as possible, the wounded, uh, the children and uh, two dead bodies and uh, brought out them through this, um, to the four ambulances which we were with them. So Israeli soldiers were watching this, they were preventing ambulances from going in and they were watching the ICRC remove injured people, starving children on a donkey cart. Yes, that's what happened last night. Yeah. So. You can imagine uh, the team and the ambulance drivers, they were really shocked having to face this situation. Yeah. Are you saying that the Israelis have breached their international obligations?